Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I uh, found myself at a place called Sea Houses and I'm on one of my uh, three or four trips I take each year out to the Fan Islands but we're photographing puffins and I am super super excited about going except one of us didn't get the memo about the camouflage gear. What did they? Well, I think it's fairly safe to say that the red jacket and the red top is having absolutely no effect on the turns attacking your head. Here's a fun fact for you, puffins. Did you know they fly at nearly 50 miles an hour? They can swim up to 100 feet deep. So a bird that flies and swims. Their body's quite large for the size of their wings. So when they actually do fly in the air, their wings flap so, so quick. Therefore, they're pretty tricky suckers to actually photograph. See what I mean about the clothing? Be interested to test my theory out today. Island number one, Fan Island number one. We get to walk around for about two hours and photograph these amazing birds. And there's so many different breeds that's nested on this island and it's just awesome. You don't have to be into nature photography. Honestly, if you just own a camera and you fancy a good day out, just get yourself here because you can't help but, but take brilliant, brilliant pictures, even with the most basic of cameras. Again, don't just naturally assume that you have to have a really, really expensive camera to be here. I'll pan this camera around and you could see that the diversity of people that are here, there's some professional photographers here, there are guys on training days, um, there are guys just out with their wives holding hands and wandering around and iPhone and it's just brilliant, anything, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it's just, just awesome. Tip for you. If it's a particular animal that you want to photograph, then get to know that animal. Just Google it and get to know its habits. For instance, I'm here photographing the puffins amongst other breeds of birds, but the puffins are the ones that I really want to capture today. I love that iconic shot where the puffins are there with the fish in their beaks. And I've, all, I've only been here half an hour and I've captured so many iconic shots. You can't help but capture iconic shots here. It's just awesome. But just get to know the animal. Um, the puffin, for instance, Whilst a puffin will sit on top of rocks and chill out, they don't actually nest there. So you're more likely to find them feeding their young at their nest area and not while they're chilling out on the top of rocks. They actually nest in the floor. So all you need to do is just kind of watch some nests and look for habits and you'll see one of the birds flying back and forth every so often with fish in their mouth. And then really it's about being patient. But there are millions, well, appears to be millions of birds here breeding everywhere. So all you need to do is sit yourself down in a certain area and then just really wait and then just snap and snap and snap. Let me give you the biggest tip. The biggest tip, pretty much whenever you're photographing animals and I can't stress this enough, if ever you're gonna just draw one thing from this video today is 
eye level is where you need to be at you need to be at eye level do you know what even if you're photographing your pets at home you know you walk your dog and people say can i take a picture of your dog mister and they just stand there and aim the camera down and take the picture of the dog and it looks very unnatural it's not really engaging so what you need to do is get down to eye level or even slightly lower and then the animal looks more dominant in the frame but more importantly is that it becomes you become very intimate with that animal and that's tip number one it's not even tip number one it's the tip of the day Island number two. <laughs> Give myself a real challenge here. Absolutely love this. I've noticed that the birds are all pretty much coming in from this side of the island here coming up that's where uh, most of the traffic seems to be coming so all the puffins as I'm meeting them now pretty much all of them have fish in their beaks and what I want to try and do now then is try and capture some in flight which is a very very difficult thing to do so I'm not going to try and shoot with the birds coming directly at me I'm simply going to move at about a 45 degree angle so I can track them coming in without them coming directly at the camera and my settings for that i'm actually going to shoot this in manual setting and the reason why i want to shoot this in manual is because i want to increase my shutter speed to two thousandth of a second remember they're very fast animals and the wings especially the wing tips are super quick as well so i'm going to opt for two thousandth of a second with my shutter speed my aperture at all uh, my aperture i want to keep my aperture to around about 5.6 that way um i don't just want to just get the beak in focus or the tail in focus i want to try and capture as much as that bird in focus as i possibly can so 5.6 is probably wide enough and it'll do that without being too shallow a depth of field and because i'm in manual i'm then going to switch my iso to automatic so the only automated side in my setup will be my iso and i'm going to dial in one stop of overexposure as well because i'm aiming up at the sky it's a big challenge my focus system will be set to ai servo for us canon users or afc for constant for all you nikon and other brands uh for all you other users shall we say and the idea is then so it'll track the bird actually coming in and i've got to tell you it's a lot easier said than it is done but practice makes perfect and of course if you rattle off loads of shots by the very definition of percentages you're bound to get one or two nailed and that's it that's all i'm looking for Some of the birds will dive bomb you, so they're recommended to wear hats. However, if you look behind me, I do think that might be slightly overkill.
it day over. What a fantastic day. So if ever you fancy um, doing a bit of wildlife photography, and maybe you're a complete novice at it, then I certainly recommend that you come to Far Island, because you can't go far wrong. Absolutely not. It's just been an awesome day.